Are you looking to park your ideal money or build a long-term fixed income portfolio? Where should your parents invest? What are the avenues available? For decades, FDs are the most preferred instruments for everyone. But historically, this is the worst time to invest in FDs. Their interest rates are at multi-year low. The nationalized banks like SBI, PNB, HDFC Bank, Axis are offering FD rates in the range of 2.9 to 5.5% per annum depending on your tenure and 0.5% higher if you are a senior citizen. On the other hand, the CPI inflation for Feb 2022 is 6.07%. This means your real rate of return is actually negative. You are losing your purchasing power by investing in fixed deposits. In such a scenario, what are the alternatives available? Can we get a higher rate of return than FDs without taking any additional risk? The answer is yes. In this video, we will tell you what are the low risk alternatives without compromising on the risk. First in the list, PMVVY. PMVVY is a government subsidized pension scheme for senior citizens. It currently provides an assured return of 7.66% per annum. The interest rates vary as per the interest payouts like yearly, half yearly, quarterly or monthly. The minimum purchase amount is 1.56 lakhs and the maximum is 15 lakhs. You can lock the high interest rate for 10 years. There is no tax benefit for this scheme. The individuals are taxed at applicable rates and TDS is not detected. You can invest in PMVVY via LIC India website. Option 2. Senior Citizen Savings Scheme It is a government-backed savings scheme which was launched in 2004. The primary objective is to enable senior citizens to ensure a regular flow of income. As the name suggests, it is only eligible for senior citizens. The interest rate has been set at 7.4% per annum as we speak. The minimum investment is 1000 rupees and the maximum is 15 lakh per individual. Interest payout is on quarterly basis. Maturity tenure is for 5 years with a one-time option to extend for 3 years. So in total it will be 8 years. You can invest in this scheme from nearest post office or any authorized bank. Option 3. RBI Bonds RBI has launched a floating rate savings scheme in July 2020 which has a maturity of 7 years. The interest on the bond is linked to National Savings Certificate. It offers an NSC plus 0.35% rate of return. The current interest rate of NSC is at 6.8% and you add 0.35% to it. So RBI bonds will give you a yield of 7.15% per annum. You can invest in RBI bonds via ICICI Direct or HDFC Securities. Option 4. Government Securities GSECs are issued by the Government of India with a maturity starting from 91 days to up to 40 years. The interest rate depends on maturity. For example, on your screen, are the interest rates of GSEX for various maturities. The minimum investment is 10,000 rupees and the maximum is 2 crore per annum per pan. You can invest in GSEX via RBI Retail Direct Platform or via brokers like Zeroda. Okay, time for caution. This is the list of alternatives where you can invest for better returns without taking additional risk than fixed deposits. For that matter, these four revenues PMVVY, Senior Citizen Savings Scheme, RBI Bonds and GSEX are way safer than any bank FDs because you literally are lending to the government of India. They have a sovereign rating. But the names which we are going to discuss now will carry equal or in some cases higher risk when compared to fixed deposits. So here we continue with our list. Option 5. PSU Tax Free Bonds Major public sector companies like PFC, HUDCO, NHAI, NTPC, NABAD, etc. had issued tax-free bonds from 2010 to 2015. These are traded in the secondary market and are currently yielding anywhere between 4.5% to 5.4% or higher. They are AAA rated bonds and provide good liquidity. For large quantities, one can check with their broker or market maker to get a better yield. Please note, unlike others, you are not required to pay any tax on the interest received from these bonds. Option 6. Savings account of Equitas and AU Small Finance Banks Equitas Small Finance Bank is offering 7% interest rate on savings account with a balance above 5 lakh up to 2 crore. On similar lines, AU Small Finance Bank is also offering 7% interest rate on savings account with a balance above 25 lakh up to 1 crore. But how safe are these small finance banks? Before that, let's try to understand DIC GC. Deposit Insurance and Credit Guarantee Corporation is a wholly owned subsidiary of RBI. It provides insurance of depositors up to limit of 5 lakh per account per bank. It works as a protection cover for bank depositors 
when the bank fails to pay its to its depositors. Both Equitas and AU Bank are covered under DICGC up to 5 lakhs. Option 7. Corporate Bonds Many private companies and NBFCs will raise money from money markets by issuing debentures, commercial papers, etc. Based on the risk profile of this company, they trade anywhere between 6.5% to 8.5% or more depending on the liquidity or financial situation of the company. You can see some of the latest yields on your screen. But please be aware, this is a risky product. You have to be very choosy here. There is no capital protection in this instrument. Please check with your financial advisor before investing in these bonds. Option 8. Invits and REITs In recent times, Invits and REITs have gained popularity among investors. They offer retail investors the opportunity to invest in alternative asset classes like real estate, power plants, roads, etc. These instruments are a mix of both debt and equity. The regularity of dividend income gives it the touch of debt, debt instrument. At the same time, the unit holder participates in the growth trajectory of the company, much like an equity investor. There are three Invits and three REITs listed in India. The dividend yield of these ranges between 5.4% to 8.5% for different companies. Again, these instruments carry the risk of capital. You have to be very careful adding them to your portfolio. Finally, the real rate of debt instruments like fixed deposits and liquid funds is negative. It is time to look for alternatives. At the same time, we shouldn't compromise on risk. These instruments provide you with regular interest payments, sovereign and PSU credit trading, and relatively better yields. Check with your financial advisors before investing in any of these products. If you like this video and found it useful, please like, share and subscribe to our Capital Mind YouTube channel for many such informative videos. Thank you.